Gilbert and George. Characteristically dressed in tailored English suits, draw nearly as many looks as their art. Indeed, they're part of it. Their images are often disturbing. At first glance, they may offer a soothing uniformity. A second reveals alarming details. Laughing gas canisters resemble bombs. People are shattered forms, collages saturated with symbolism. The artists capture the disjointed state of society around them. What we believe in, where we stand, what the different cultures, how we stand with these two different cultures. Is the, the Christian culture and the Islamic culture, where do we stand? Gilbert and George, known to be critical of religion, were chosen to decorate St. Matthew's Church in Berlin to commemorate the reformer Martin Luther. And they see parallels. Because the church is dealing also, like ourselves, with death, hope, life, fear, sex, money, race, and the religion. Those are all the subjects that the church is dealing with and also the artist. The idea to bring the London artists to Berlin for the project Luther in the Avant-Garde came from the curator Walter Smerling and pastor Christoph Georg Norbert. I think it's the task of the church to promote reconciliation, to make peace, or at least to stand up for peace. And these images, in the merging of the church space and these themes, deal with what's currently going on around us. Gilbert and George selected the works especially for this venue. They come from their well-known 2013 series titled Scapegoating Pictures. They're about war and religious and social conflict and the coexistence of differing values. We have to live together. That's the most important thing. We all have to live together. And what call a lot of religion made it very difficult to live together because they are not allowed to have ma to get married together. We, all the sexuality is completely the, separated. That's the big problem. That's why we, in some way, ban religion. The Protestant Church seeks to open a dialogue and build bridges to people of differing beliefs. I think it's very exciting. It's a gamble. These are two artists with an eminently critical attitude towards religion. They go against the religious interpretation that restricts freedom and oppresses people. But we as the Protestant Church conceive of our faith and our religion as something that gives us strength for our liberation. So this exhibition is a challenge. It demands a confrontation, and that's something good. 500 years ago, Martin Luther tore the church apart with his new ideas. He questioned long-standing structures. This exhibition, too, presents a new way of looking at things. The church windows have been covered with works of art. I can clearly say that I hope this will make the Reformation and its issues far more accessible, and thus people may even find their way to the Christian faith. This isn't a mission that falls into your lap, but it is an interest that could be aroused. The first visitors do indeed seem to find the exhibition thought-provoking. I don't have to know anything in advance. When I look at the pictures, I can sense their stories. I was impressed by the sheer force and the way the pictures affect me. It's very moving, aggressive, it provokes. And you think about the Ten Commandments and try to reconcile them. I think that's great. Normally, today's art in Europe is very cautious when it comes to Islam. But here, it's very clear. Gilbert and George intend their exhibition to provoke and they stand behind the values they espouse. We're very lucky that we don't have a rule book to follow. The church has the Bible, they have a rule book to follow. And we have no, we've torn up all of the rules long ago. For Gilbert and George too, the exhibition is something exceptional. It's the first time in their 50-year partnership that they're showing their work in a church.